Evolution of Viper In the first movie of Kung Fu Panda, Viper was first seen training with Master Shifu with the rest of the Furious Five, where Shifu told her to improve on her subtlety. Like the rest of the five, Viper greatly respects Shifu as her master and is an obedient student. She is voiced by Lucy Liu in the movies and TV series. Unlike the rest of the five, who felt disdain for Poe or made fun of him after he was chosen as Dragon Warrior, instead of one of them, Viper quickly felt empathy for him believing him to be just a victim of bad luck. Like the rest of them, however, she also didn't believe he was the true dragon warrior and actually behaved sarcastic towards Poe in their first training match, including her surprise attack, and briefly checked Shifu's reaction, but became impressed by Poe's struggling determination in his training and later in his sense of humor and great cooking skills. And like most of the other five, she took a liking to him. When the five fought in battle with Tai Lung, Viper used her skills, wrapping around him and performing her self-punching technique, but was soon caught by the throat. Monkey arrived to save her, after which they all attacked together, sending Tai Lung to a great fall. But when it seemed like they had won, Tai Lung reappeared again and performed a nerve attack on four of the five, Viper included, only sparing Crane so he would be able to carry the rest of them back to the palace in the form of a message. In the first short movie named Secrets of the Furious Five, Viper is revealed to be the daughter of Great Master Viper, who relied on his venomous fangs to protect the village where they live. The Great Master hoped that his daughter would carry on his legacy, and was distraught at her lack of fangs. Viper instead took up ribbon dancing at a young age, and showed proficiency in it. When a guerrilla bandit came to the Autumn Moon Festival, and shattered the Great Master's fangs using venom-proof armor, Viper used her dancing to tie the bandit up in her ribbon. Only then was her father satisfied with his daughter becoming a warrior on her own terms. In the second short movie named Kung Fu Panda Holiday, after defeating several boar bandits, Viper, along with the rest of the Furious Five, was shocked to find out that Poe was going to be hosting the formal winter feast dinner at the Jade Palace. The Five offered to help, but Poe insisted he could do it himself. When he was later overwhelmed by the myriad of responsibilities, he finally decided to call upon the Five to assist him with the preparations. Viper performed her Stars of Destiny move to hold up the table lanterns that Tigress threw with her Talia Leap. Though Viper was shown as a firstborn only child in Secrets of the Furious Five, here she mentioned that she has sisters with whom she loved to cook during the winter feast. In the second movie of Kung Fu Panda, Viper and her friends were first seen in the training hall, staring in awe at Poe as he performed the feat of stuffing as many bean buns in his mouth as he could. While the others cheered him on, Viper cringed in terror and actually fainted when Poe succeeded in his stunt. Viper was shown to be the most transparent in her feelings and the most openly compassionate. On the way to Gongmen City, she and her teammates overheard Poe telling Tigress about his issues with his father, and she showed the most sympathy toward him. Later, when the group was captured by Lord Shen's wolves in a plan to get into the Peacock's Tower, Viper used the end of her tail to pick the lock on Tigress handcuffs. This allowed the rest of the group to be freed from their chains and to destroy the cannon in Shen's throne room. Later, when the five fought bravely against Shen's wolves, Viper used a technique called Puppet of Death, in which she used her snaky body to control the arms of an unconscious wolf while Tigress carried her. In the series Kung Fu Panda, Legends of Awesomeness, Viper appears mainly as a background character for most of the show. However, she did play a larger role in the episode Ladies of the Shade, where she helped Poe and Crane obtain an artifact. Viper later had the lead role in the episode Serpent's Tooth, where she discovered snakes once had a protector known as Fushi. When his true intentions were revealed, Viper helped to defeat him. In the fourth short movie, Secrets of the Scroll, Viper continued to play her craft as a ribbon dancer, before eventually being recruited by Tigress due to an accident involving a pair of scrolls. With her father's blessing, she joined Tigress, Crane, and Monkey, and the latter pair demonstrated to Tigress that there were many styles of kung fu. However, the trio and Mantis were rejected by Shifu, who had sent Tigress to find four trained kung fu masters something she had failed to do because of the accident. However, as Ogwe observed, there are no accidents. The new team of five proved to be just what was needed to defeat the villain Boar. In the movie, Kung Fu Panda 3, Viper first appears when Shifu announces his retirement as a Kung Fu teacher and hands over responsibilities to Poe. This turns out to be very bad for the five, 
who sustained numerous injuries thanks to Poe's horrible teaching. Viper is struck by Crane while navigating the seven talon rings and is left wrapped around one of the wooden croc training dummies, though she still manages to gasp out words of encouragement to Poe. When Kai later attacks the Jade Palace, Viper is forced to face Crane and Mantis, who have been turned into Jade zombies. Unable to fight her friends, Viper is captured along with Monkey and Shifu, and her chi is absorbed. Now transformed into a Jade zombie, Viper attacks the Panda Village, but is freed from Kai's control when Poe destroys him in the spirit realm. In the movie, Kung Fu Panda 4, Lucy Liu reprises her role as Master Viper, who appears as the cameo character.